hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to create this realistic watercolor flowers in the app ibs paint text i'll be giving step by step instruction as also the techniques i'm using to create this so first i'm going to open a 3 is to 4 3k canvas and here i'm using the drawing paper rough the background canvas this gives us a beautiful uh, watercolor texture so i'm using this and here i'm using the pencil hashtag one brush to draw the basic sketch so the sketch is going to be based on the basic shapes that we use like circle rectangle triangle or something like that here for the flower we're going to use the ellipse shape so i'm going to draw the rough ellipse shape here first using two ellipse shape i'll create a flower i will show you how to make that so here i'm drawing the basic ellipse shape it not it doesn't need to be perfect one so try something like this and so our flower is not in exact uh, you know front view so it's going to be slightly um you know that third toward somewhere uh, in the right side so i made that small ellipse a little bit closer to the left side because uh the angle is to be uh, like more on the right side so the right side petals are going to be more visible and the left side petal is not going to be visible that much to create such a view i'm just uh, made that inner circle closer to the left so here you can see so this flower you will have the five petals and here i'm just drawing the fourth petal all these petals are visible from our side you know from the tip to the end it is visible but the petal at the left side is not uh going to show the tip so in such a manner we are going to draw so this is the way and here i am going to draw the i don't know what this is called so i am going to draw five uh, of a such thing something i don't know it consists of seeds something like that so i am going to draw five of it like this and here a flower is ready so now i am going to duplicate this flower and i am going to position it in the inverted way bow like this using the transform tool just rotate and flip whatever you want try it and make it like a another flower not a copy of this one so create something like that also i am positioning the first flower like this closer to each other now i am going to flip it so once flip it looks like a totally different flower it's not looking like a copy don't so for that sake i just use the flip option and now i am okay with this here you can see two uh flaws overlapping with each other just erase the one uh, so it means that the lower one uh, lower flaw will be hidden uh, from the upper one so in such a way we have to erase the unwanted lines and i merged the two flaws into uh, in a single layer and now i'm going to draw the third flaw here i'm not going to duplicate it uh other than that and to draw the same step uh you know but in different angles so here you can see i draw uh, the uh, inner circle at the uh, center of the uh, inner ellipse uh, at the center of that big ellipse which means all the petals going to be shown eventually with the even and uh, you know even length all so like that and here So the thing is, you can make corrections or redo it. Uh, sometimes you want to make uh, or do some sketch. You can do that because this 
uh, sketch is not going to be visible at our final outcome so don't worry about uh, making messy one so this is not going to be visible in the final sketch it's only for our reference uh, for uh, our mapping purpose so I'll be using the lasso tool to select each and every area sometimes I use the magic wand tool using those things I will select the area and in the new layer I will be drawing entirely using the watercolor brushes so here you can see this flower looks a little bit smaller so I use that select that area using the lasso fill tool the uh, sorry lasso tool and made it a little bit bigger using the transform tool now you can see the ellipse visible so i'm going to erase all those things because i don't need them anymore uh, i will be only drawing the leaves surrounding this frost now so i'm erasing all the unknown dot lines and he looks like a perfect floss and now i'm just drawing the leaves so for leaves you can check take reference from the ordinal leaves or anywhere you if you like any leaves patterns from the Pinterest or anything like that so also make sure you don't uh, make the same leaf shape all over because it making even shaped uh, leaves doesn't look realistic appealing and here you can see uh, to differentiate the flowers from the leaf I just click on the alpha lock and using the special lasso fill tool I just change the color of that leaf's lines and uh, now I'm just drawing with the same green color like this so as I told make variations in the shape change the directions change uh, something in the left something pointing toward the right something in the middle angle and something pointing straight 90 degree something like that so make such uh, variations like this so I just pull the remaining areas also the center gaps like this okay now it is ready now I just reduce the opacity of the layer in the new layer I just made the blending mode of the layer as multiply and here I'm going to make the watercolor illustration so using the lasso tool I'm selecting the petals so for uh, the petals drawing uh, or watercolor filling I'll be using alternate method which means I'm not going to select the uh, neighboring areas because that's going to mess and it will not use as a separate petal like look so for that sake in your floor we have five petals so I'll be only selecting two petals uh, which are not neighboring one so in that way I will be using uh, choosing two petals in each floor so in that way I'm using I'm selecting all two petals from all the three flowers like this then I'll be coloring then once again I'll be choosing another set of petals from each flower and I'll be coloring again so in such a way I'll be uh, making the watercolor illustration so I if you can see I just choose the uh, alternative petals and here using watercolor edge brush and something like a blush pink color like this so in the video it looks like an orange color but actually I used the blush pink color for this so uh, don't uh, you know drag the brush instead tab like this to get the full texture uh, from that brush so if you drag will be uh, there will be so much different between tabbing and dragging that same brush so always tab that brush once you're done created the texture use the watercolor water brush to blend them to make uh, them a little bit watery 
like this so it's like the it has some gradient in this uh, texture so in such a way we have to blend using the watercolor water brush to add some more color shades I'll be using watercolor opaque brush also watercolor bleed brush so now I'm going for the watercolor bleed brush I'm choosing the same color and moving a little bit darker to add some darker shades at the corners so as I told before the petals is not going to have the same pattern same color shades all over for all the petals so each petal will be looking different there will be some similarities but not the percentage same so keep that in mind uh, don't uh, hesitate to make some variation in the petals um, so we don't have the perfect 100% symmetrical petal we have never seen such anything in nature so just uh, add some variations in each petals if you have you know if you add some dark shades at one corner of one petal for the another one petal add some shades in somewhere else a little bit in some other angle in such a way so now using the deep pen bleed brush I'm adding a uh, line strokes two line strokes like this at the center of each petal like this okay now using the watercolor water brush I'm going to blend the strokes a little bit to make them look realistic not uh, you know it's we don't need a perfect line so you know without the sketch it looks like this it looks better it looks really little watercolor illustration so we want such a style so now I'll be selecting all the alternate petals and co colored like this and now we're going to color the that stem like part so what you have to do is select all those like this and choose the color and before coloring just go to that layer and clear it so since we have selected only that areas the clear option will also be applied only to the selected areas in that layer so everything will be clear in that selection and you can apply the new color freely without uh, messing up with the old color shades. So that's the main reason, uh, reason I'm doing this process. So I'm adding some darker shades at the bottom uh, using the watercolor bleed brush. Now without the sketch it looks like this. Again switching on the sketch, moving back to the second layer. Now I'm going to color the seeds. Just select the seed pot like this for all the flowers. Then go to the layer, click remove uh, uh, clear option. It will be clearing that areas. Then using the yellow color and watercolor edge brush, I colored everything yellow. Like this. now it looks like this so now i'm going to do the same process for the leaves since we have so much of leaves here i don't know exactly it will be it will be around 20 to 23 minimum so what i'm going to do is selecting the alternate leaves which don't have contact with each other in such way i'm going to select so here you can see all, there is no connection with each lay, uh, leaves so in such a way we have to do and I'm choosing some green color and using the watercolor edge brush color everything so uh, because we are uh, selecting the area using the laser tool sometimes we may not know which which are the leaves we have selected so make the brush size 
maximum and made a make a big stroke then will be apl- applied to all the selected area then you will be known where uh, which are the uh, leaves that you have selected then apply the, uh, the other colors or any texture um, one by one like this so i'm going to create a gradiently mixed leaves so using the watercolor opaque brush i'm adding greenish here just blending them blending the texture properly like this so you can see each leaves have a different texture now using some yellow color i'm going to add the shade at the center of the leaves like this So this is uh, uh, I'm using the watercolor opaque brush. It gives us good shading. Also mix with the other shades without uh, changing the texture of the um, color. Okay, now I'm done with everything. If you want to add further a little more darkness, just using the watercolor bleed brush add the shade at the you know tip or one side of the leaf like this now i'm going to add the line details using the same dip and bleed so reduce the opacity of the brush just uh, visible distribute in that way you have to reduce and add the stroke like this it gives some mild relaxed uh, texture like this okay in such a way uh, add details to all the leaves and again in the same technique choose the alternate leaves and uh, color and add all the details uh, as I have told so I didn't show that here so this is the final look then I'm going to save this as PNG this is without sketch so I'm going to save it ENG and here comes a final watercolor floss I hope you like this tutorial learn something new from me so subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.